There was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. What is up and what's going on my fellow Martians? Now that was an intense intro. Welcome to Deliver Us the Moon. Now in this game we are surviving on the moon. Uh, yeah, we're surviving on the moon and that's pretty much all I know. So we're just going to jump right into it with the new game. First I'm going to check settings and make sure make sure I get, I get the best graphics for everyone, you know. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, looks all good oh there's an advanced section right here yep okay so let's get right into this and start the game now I've been meaning to play this game for a while I actually had it for a while um, I think I got it when it was free but now it's like $30 I don't know oh shit give me just a second Luz get down Get Friends down! The family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the Dog problems I miss. I don't know. I miss a lot. As of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees, despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon right now. and pass over the World Space Agency's former MPT ground station my sensitivity on my controller, it's always low on these. I don't understand why. Uh, controls. Mouse sensitivity. How high can you make it? It's probably a mistake, but we'll try. Yep. We're ready to start the mission. Do you copy? Oh, am I supposed to respond back or something? Oh. There we go. Then. Whew, putting on the spacesuit. We about to go, boys. All right, let's get it. Ground control to Satuna 1. This is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. And tab to use my astro tool. Okay, that's nice. Confirm contact. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. Alright. I'll get it. 
How do I put it back down? Alright. It's actually been out for a while. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. That's the rocket. There she is. The Taurus 5. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over Okay, I'm going, good. I'm going, I'm going. So the backstory to this... Oh, I can scan. Okay, so the backstory to this is that, you know, Earth can no longer sustain its power needs. So we're going to the moon. I guess they found something on the moon or something that could help us out. Uh, created by Isaac Johnson, the MPT transmitted power from the moon to the Earth through network of satellite dishes. Since Isaac's disappearance during the 2054 blackout, Claire Johnson has studied her father's work closely in preparation for the Fortuna mission. Alright. Yeah, I've already figured out this sprint. Um, I can go in here. So what's in here? It's a girl! Oh, Are proud to announce the arrival of Claire's little sister. Kathy, Krista, and Johnson. Nice. Um... Oh, someone died. Hold on. Elizabeth John... Is that Johansson? Or Johnson? I don't know. Ah, oh, so sad she died, though. Kathy, uh, looks like, uh, looks like you're packing up here, Claire. Or Kathy, or... Whoever... Or am I Kathy or Claire or someone? I wasn't really paying attention. We'll find out. I mean, I'm... I mean, of course I hear someone, but maybe I'm the only one here. Let's, let's read these. A monument marks the entrance of the Fredskov Cosmodrome. The facility was abandoned until Fortuna team made it their base of operations after the blackout and began preparations for humanity's last mission to space. The sign reads to the stars. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, I love the atmosphere, though. Jeez. It's beautiful. Although, I think that dust storm is coming. So, we should probably hurry up. It really doesn't give me much time. Oh, hold on. There's elevator here. Of course, because it wouldn't be a game if the elevator didn't work. Great. What is this? Turn that. Right. Uh, can we get back down? So, does the elevator work now? Is that what I'm led to believe? I guess. I mean, it just like. I don't feel safe in this elevator, to be honest. With you. I, don't feel safe at all. Ted, I see you're on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. So why am I wearing my space suit now? Just in preparation or can we not breathe the air here anymore? I don't think... It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will when you get the MPT back online. If I get the MPT back online. Oh, that's dark. Doesn't really do much. Oh, look at that. What are you? Okay. You didn't tell me a password. Not what I meant. You didn't tell me a password, so... Oh, was it in? Hold on. Ah, oh, here. 3548. Why do I keep hitting that? I meant to hit that. 3548. Why would I just not know that? There we go. It is so dark in here. So, how do we have power? How does this ship have power? Oh my 
Ah, oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. I have a feeling I knew that The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. Okay. Where am I going? Oh, here's my objective. Look at that. There we go. Can you read it? What it says is that we are going to go to the moon, and we're going to turn on the thingy, and we're going to send a signal back to the thingy, or with the thingy, back to Earth. And voila, we have power. It's a coin. It's a coin. Okay. So, got it. All right. Uh. 1909-2054. Dear Sarah, we met years ago on the Pearson Space Station. I was relieved from service after the Caro sleep malfunction. Remember how we talked about my broken ASE? I'm looking for a way to extract this holographic data, and I'm hoping you could help me out. Maria Gonzalez. Hi, Maria. Yeah, I remember. Holographic data runs through a unique hardware component. I specialize more in software, so you should reach out to my colleague, Rolf Robertson here at Pearson. He's an excellent mechanic. Okay. And we're going to scan this. I assume this is the ASE, which we're about to learn about. One of the few survivors of the 2048 Huygens Cryo sleep malfunction, Maria brought her damaged ASE unit back to Earth with her. She's been trying to repair her ASE in hopes of restoring holographic recordings captured by his vice during her time at the Huygens research facility. I might be saying that name wrong, but sue me. In memorum, those lost during the malfunction of June 10th, 2048. Don't forget everyone who lost that day. Okay, so that's probably how her mom died, or her dad, one of them. Um, taking drugs? Antidepressants, so... Whew. I think this story is getting deeper than we originally thought. All right. Um, I don't want to miss anything, so I'm like just looking around a lot. So just excuse that. Uh, am I going up here or am I moving this? I'm probably moving this, right? Yeah. So I can get through this door. And do that. A lot of scientific stuff I don't know about. Wait, didn't I have it on this whole time? Oh, do I have a battery on my flashlight? Because I had that on this whole time. I feel like... Oh, I do. It's on the back of my backpack. So I should probably be more cognizant of using that. Why is this such a roundabout way to get to the shuttle? What is that? Like audio recording? Fortuna One is a go. Nice. I'm gonna turn that off now. Yeah. Isolate three plausible causes for the MPT black. Give me a second. One. Oh, sorry about that. I got a phone call. Uh, I didn't listen to any of that, so we're just going to revert back real quick, listen to it again. You won't have to, but I will, and we'll get this figured out. Uh, let's listen. We've isolated three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. <laughs> A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You are just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Causes of the blackout. All right. Secondly... It 
Okay, so they're trying to. She was trying to figure out why the blackout happened and why the connection wasn't restored before. Which makes me think uh, maybe someone did this intentionally, is what I'm thinking. Recruited straight out of university, Claire Johansson designed the Taurus V rocket for the Fortuna mission. Claire was eager to join the team to uncover the fates of her father and sister on the moon after the 2054 blackout. So yeah, so there was a blackout from the moon and they're trying to figure it out. Custody denied. Dear Miss Johansson, the court rules that the father Isaiah Johansson as the next of kin has been granted full custody of Casty Christina Johansson after the mother Elizabeth Johansson's untimely death. As her current guardian, you are ordained to ensure that Kathy is brought for safe passage to the moon to be reunited with her father. So she lost custody of her sister. And then they just went missing, I assume? Oh man, that gotta suck. That has to suck. Alright. But we'll figure it out. Figure it out. And get her closure. Figure out why this blackout happened in the first place. I'm thinking it was an inside job that someone didn't want to. You're in the control center. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. That someone didn't want this thing to continue. Yeah, reboot. Gather Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Okay, what's next? Close both field valves. Oh, that's not what I meant. Okay, so how do I do that? Uh, something here? No. How do I Okay, hold on. What is this? Okay. Did that do it? No, that didn't. Okay, what, what am I supposed to do? How do I close both fuel valves? Hope I'm going the right way to be honest with you, because I really don't know. Oh, yep, I am. Okay. So we gotta hurry because the storm's coming and we gotta launch this for the storm. I assume there's another one on the other side. No, 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 no. F. F and chat. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. But yeah, I'm thinking it's an inside job. That someone purposely. What? What? Um. Excuse me. How am I supposed to get up there then? Please don't do something I can use. There's something I can use down here. I mean, they give me an elevator, so I might as well use. Uh, yeah, the. There we go. I knew this was going to be used for something. Let's see if I can get this on here correctly. There we go. Alright, let's get back up. this in the whole time I'm pretty sure you could be here helping me now I can do this yeah I'm 
buckets are prime. Oh, nice. Time limits. Because I love to be rushed. How do I get there, though? Oh, there we go. Almost there. Almost there. Oh. You gotta run a little bit faster than that. in this world unto greater things to make it in life. So many doors. Why are there so many doors? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my god. Never been in a rocket before. Systems online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can. Yeah, I didn't have training. Initiate launch procedure. Uh, here we go. Da, da, da. I'm trying. Ground launch sequencer started. Orbital access arm retracting. Perfect. Just like with practice. Oh, what? Okay, that's not cool. That's not cool. How am I supposed to know this? How am I supposed to know? Oh, wow. It's on the screen. It's on the screen the whole time. Damn it. It was on the screen. Why didn't y'all tell me it was on the screen? Rocket navigation systems online. We're nearly there. It's just yep. like your training. You Got it now. Page into the Initiate screen. Launch procedure. Bam. Ground launch sequencer started. Orbital access arm retracting. Perfect. Just like with practice. And then now it's going to tell me A1, A3, B3, and B4. Auxiliary power units booting up. Okay. Gaseous oxygen vent on and arm safely in place. Uh, there we go. That was the time. Sound suppression system engaged. Oh, right here. Hydrogen burn system activated. Rocket booster oh ready for ignition. Why am I so nervous? Ready for ignition. Ready in five, four, three, two, start. Bam. I am now an astronaut and I can fly a space shuttle. That's what that means. I can fly a space shuttle. Oh, this is so cool, though. This is really cool. Up. You know how much G's? An astronaut has to be able to take to do this. I don't know the correct number, but maybe you can tell. Wow, that is cool. Oh, there is also a launch sequence right here next to the. Right there. Oh, I'm in space. The rocket has entered the thermosphere. You're on your way. I'm in space. Want? Main engine cutoff. Separation. Second stage ignition. Is there something I have to press for this, or is it just gonna happen? Space. Can I see Earth? Can I see Earth from. Nope. Nope. There we. There it is. It doesn't look like Earth, but that's Earth. There it is. It looks more like Earth now. 
They knew an earth full of life. All we know today is dust. Wow. If you can bring the MPT network back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. Why did the lunar colony fail, though? Recover, rebuild, and so we need to figure all, out. Start thinking about a future. That is beautiful. It's always been You'll one of my to dreams to be able to go to space and see Earth from space. Station. In person. From there, the power Not from a video. In person. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pierce and Clear. We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is what going is that? to gem radio contact. That looks like a bomb. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must... <laughs> And now I don't know what to do. There we go. Now we got my complete the second stage of the launch sequence. Okay, so I do have to do something. What do I have to do? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Ignite second thruster. Okay. Ready for ignition. And then I pulled this down. Okay. Pretty self-sanitary. Done this a million times. And there it is. We're off to the moon. To deliver the Earth the moon. Imagine they took that too literally and actually, you know, blasted the moon into the earth. Gotta choose your words carefully. And there it is. Is that where I'm going, I guess? Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, are we gonna get on the moon now? Hopefully. Oh, that's a space elevator. Now, I've actually looked into, you know, the concept of a space elevator for a while, or way back when. And if it's actually feasible, um, apparently with current technology, it is not and how it would have to go about is pretty intense. Um, what am I doing? Interact? Okay. Oh, okay, so we're gonna do this. Space move up, control to move down. And then... Oh, this is... So I gotta line it up. There we go. NASA hired me. I could do this. And there we are. We are docked. Oh, yeah, that was mine. But I think that's where I'm going to leave it here, you know, for next time to keep y'all waiting because I know you all love waiting. But this is going to be a great adventure, and I hope you can stick along for it. Uh, in that note, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below, and make sure you hit that bell icon to know when I upload the second video of this. Thank you for watching, and until next time, my beautiful, wonderful, amazing Martians.